What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out the baseball mixer. It's Jaspi's 12-box triple play baseball mixer. Random teams were giving away a Gavin Lux rookie autograph out of five. So 30 total spots. All teams in at the end of this break will randomize all 30 customer names, and the top name will win the Gavin Lux auto out of five from a top Series 1 baseball silver pack. Just remember, no veteran base card ship. And again, from top to five-star baseball all the way down to tri-star autograph baseball. And again, that'll go by the team that they're currently on or teams they play for the longest. And then for the Leaf Metal and Leaf Ultimate Draft, if there is a checklist, we're going to go by that on group rate checklist. If not, that'll go the teams that they're currently on, whether it's in the minor league affiliate or if they're retired teams they play for the longest as well. So let's randomize the customer names. And we got a five and a three eight times. Good luck, Matthew. Jamie got last by Mojo and everybody else won their spots in mini five and six. So eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight times. Corey down to Jazz. There you go, eight times. Teams, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Giants down to the Padres. Corey with the Giants, Chris with the Mariners, Mary Lou with the Dodgers, James with the Pirates, James with the Tigers. Uh, Brian with the Rangers, David Baker with the Nationals, Matthew Morgan with the Mets, Rick with the Red Sox, Matthew Hedges with the Blue Jays, Adam with the A's, Indians, Justin, uh, you got Justin Humphrey with the Marlins as well as the Rockies, Rick, you got the Astros, Steven with the Phillies, Mike with the Brewers, Kevin with the Rays, Travis with the Twins, David, you got the Yankees, Matthew, um, with the White Sox, James with the Angels, Adam with the Royals, Brian with the Reds and Braves, Travis with the D-backs, James, Cubs, Edwin with the Cardinals, Jeremy with the Orioles, and Jazz with the Padres. So, anybody want to make a trade? You guys can make a trade. I'm going to start ripping through these boxes. Orbit collectibles, nice. Did you is that yours? Or did you see that up on eBay? Wow, no trade activity. Wow, this is like the first mixer. I haven't seen any trade activity. At least not even one team up for trade. All right, let's close the trade window then. Everybody's probably sleeping already, huh? Some bomb and chrome as well. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. 
I know. It's a holiday today. Yeah, people are probably out drinking today or traveling back from if they went out for the holiday. Although, you know, some parts of the United States are still in lockdown, but other parts have pretty much almost resumed daily activity. So, I think everybody's just either exhausted from the long weekend or just uh, having a good having a good long week, Monday off. I'm off for work for 10 days, David. Wow. Nice. That would be nice. If I could be off for 10 days. I'd go on a trip. I'd hit up like Mexico or something. Alright, here you go, guys. Kiba Ruiz to 50. And Yuseta for the Dodgers first to 150. Little atomic to 150. Nice tea time. That's awesome, man. Shimmer of Schmidt. And Machado, Jonathan, Cardinals. All right, let's go with some Diamond Kings. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., how about that? Or Vladimir Guerrero, sorry, Sr. 11 out of 15 sketches and swatches. Montreal Expos edition will be going to the Nationals. David Baker. Very nice. Bumgarner. Ron Healy. 299. Albert Pujols. Mike Trout. Corey Kluber, Eric Hosmer, Chris Bryant, Ernie Banks. Hack Wilson. Nick Gordon to 99. Minnesota. Travis with that one. Oh, is it David? Well, you know what? We're still in lockdown 2 to June 30th, but... I thought I'd seen some news earlier today from ABC7 that we we're going to lift up some restrictions and now offer in-store shopping. So I think it's kind of moving fast. But June is obviously right around the corner next week. So you know, I think eventually though everything's just going to go back to normal. But you're just going to be a little bit more cautious now, and you know. Just that's really that's really all you can do until a vaccine is just really be cautious. You know, obviously it doesn't mean you have to stay at home. If you choose to stay at home, great. You know what I mean. But if you choose not to, obviously you know what you're putting yourself at risk for. But at the same time, you know you just got to be cautious, right? Don't feel weirded out if you decide you still want to wear a mask. You know because it's your choice. You know, but. You know, I don't think anybody should be like, oh, I don't know why you're going outside. Why are you so scared? You know, or vice versa. Because I don't know. To me, it's like people don't understand how COVID works until it hits them or their family. You know what I mean? It's like crazy. So if you do go out, just stay safe, guys. That's all. Be cautious.
Currently at 12K. Well, damn. That means that that orange is definitely going to get more than that. You got to think that that's probably going to end at like, what, 16? I don't know. I projected that orange, solid color orange that we pulled, Teddy did, to be between 15 to 20. So maybe 20 is the high. But I don't know. It's crazy. Patrick, we are done for the night. We have this mixer and a football mixer coming up, and that's it. We'll be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock with Joe, so we'll do some more breaks tomorrow. Luis Severino. I don't know. I just hope people aren't, like, just pushing up the market and just to not pay. You know? Jake Bowers. Ryan Bull rookie. Hollow Raider rookie auto for Toronto. Cedric Mullins, hollow. Eloy Jimenez. Ooh, is this an autograph pop box? Usually there's only one autograph. Mythical Trout. Ladder Ricky. Eloy Jimenez Orange. To 99. Fernando Tatis. Itro MVPs. Nice. Well, I just think it's more shocking to us his pricing because he's 17 years old. But, you know, honestly, same thing with, like, players that have been playing in the NFL for one year. You know what I mean? It just, we just have to wait to see. I mean, someone could be so good their first year and then they bust the rest of the year. Or there's some players coming out of college that legit don't transition to their professional sport. I mean, and we're still banking on them, but I just think it's more shocking to us because he's 17. You know, if he was a college guy, like, what about Adley Rutschman? I'm not saying he's going to bust, but what if he was busted? What if he became a bust, you know? But we see it differently because he's not a 17-year-old, you know? He's a guy coming from college and has kind of proven himself in college baseball, where it's like the same thing that happened to him, you know, whenever he gets to be on the Orioles. But it is pretty crazy, though. right now and you don't believe that he's going to live up to the hype or it's too risky for you just sell you know that's the one thing you're not tied down to it unless you believe in him so but just don't uh don't make it seem like you know don't don't regret it though that's the one thing if you think that he, it's just too risky to hold on to Sell it, get as much as you can for it, and then if, like, in five, six years he's in the majors and he's killing it, and it's worth, like, three, four times than what you sold it for, you know, don't regret it. you like, you know what, at the time I got good money, I don't have any regrets, but the, the thing is that there'll always be some people be like, oh, man, I should have held on to him, you know? Right? So... I think I'm like you guys. I think I would sell it. But see, to, to me, let's say, I, let's say I bought a random team break of Jumbo and I hit the Yankees and I hit a Dominguez that's like 10, 15,000. It's like, would you sell because you only paid 100, but 150 bucks or 130 bucks? Or would you keep only because it only costs you 150 bucks? So if you can't get more than $150 in 10 years, then, you know, you lost. That's my thing. You know, if, you, if you're a customer that's bought into a lot of picker teams and you need to recuperate some cash, then I, I, I see why. But I, the, the question is that if you only bought them for 150 bucks, would you keep it, you know? And risking it five, ten years down the line. You know what I mean? Paul Knurkel. 
to 25. And that's the one thing some people are facing. Honestly, I feel like I would sell if I had one, but that's just me talking now. But that would actually change my questioning. Would people think I'm dumb to hold on to it if you only paid 150 bucks when you could have sold it and made, you know, 10,000% on them? You know, if it was like a $15,000 card. You know, but I won't know that until I do it. I feel like I want to hold on to him because what if he turns out to be a trout? You know, what what if like, what if like, you know what? I only paid $150. I got the Yankees and then I decide to sell it. And then when I really wanted to hold on to it and then all of a sudden he turns out to be a Mike Trout or something or a big time player. And then he's selling for like $100,000 and it's like, man, I could have kept it for 150 bucks. It's just, it's just tough though. I guarantee a lot of people were selling Trout in his first year or two next to nothing because I don't know if he was a high prospect coming out of high school, but I guarantee he was not selling for what he does now, obviously. You know, it's like Wander Franco, right? It's like people that bought Wander Franco, you know, Chris Russell. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a Griffey in Reds uniform. Derek Jeter skills. That's a nice one. Beltre silver. All right, let's go to the 2016 optics. Hold out your one Joe Delvin 17 leaf metal. Yeah, but still, yeah. You know, it might not be the best product, but a lot of people are high on Joe Dell as well. And then the way the card market is right now, it's like you can invest into a trout, you know, for like 15,000 a 9510, right? Somewhere around there. I think that's what they're selling for right now. His Bowman's first, just the base, 9510. Or refractor, one of those two, I don't remember. If you have that kind of cash, invest into that. And I can guarantee in like two years, you can buy Flipper for like 20, 25. You know, you just hold on to it for a couple years. And that's what's been happening. And some people have been making a killing off of that. But not everybody has an extra fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to just purchase a card and let it sit, sit on it, you know? It's like, if we all had the money, we'd do that. And that's the one thing I I just tell myself this: Who's buying these five thousand dollars ions? Who's buying these ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars? You know, who's buying all this stuff? You know, obviously I know <laughs> there's billions of people in this world, and a lot of them have money, extra extra money to waste on whatever they want. But like, who is who in their right mind is buying all this stuff? And it just makes you think back to what we were talking about the other day with like Gary V really pumping up the card industry. Getting these guys that are used to invest in the stock and everything else and starting to invest into 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 trading cards. And they're the ones buying up all these crazy cards because they're seeing it. <laughs> you know? They're seeing the market value. How people were grading, you know, LeBron rookies that were selling for fifty to a hundred dollars, you grade them PSA ten and now they're thousands. Trevor Story rookie. It's just crazy, man. Manny Machado, 199. Oh yeah, I get so many people tell me, oh trading cards are are they still is that still around? You know, and they're still not even within the times. You know, I got some stuff from the '90s here. You know that man. You know, I was I was so big into the '90s, and I'm like, yeah, dude, that was kind of a rough, rough time. That's when it kind of really, really went downhill, but. And I was just like, oh, you think I have something nice? And I was like, well, there's a couple players in the nineties you, you can get that are pretty good, but you know, and then they show me it's just it's a lot of junk. But yeah, they're they're just shocked when they see what some cards are selling for. And then obviously we still get those people that don't realize that relics and autos rule now, right? Sixty four out of one twenty five AJ Reed. Although, to be honest, I I'm starting to fall more in love with the prints of these cards more than the autographs. You know, 
I like the animal prints. I like all that stuff. And back to the future, Justin Upton. Arizona Diamondbacks edition. Travels with that one. Alright guys, so let's go with some of these leaf boxes. Um, and again, we're going to go by the checklist on group break checklist. Or teams that they're currently on. Or teams that play for the longest if they're out of the league. But I'm just going to fly through these. And we'll tag them later in the night. Josh Jung, out of 30. Should be Texas Rangers, I believe. We got Matt Gorski, State Pride. Five out of five. There you go. Kyron Paris, 420. There you go. It looks like an Angels prospect. Although it doesn't matter what the jersey looks like. Checklist may say otherwise. Quinn Preister, 14 out of 30. Alec Manoa, 5 out of 15. I believe that's a Blue Jays, I think. And we got a Gavin Lux, 9 out of 15 for the Dodgers. Giving away one of his autographs as well. It's nice on card as well. Nice. Mary Lou with the Dodgers. Very nice. All right, Leaf Ultimate Baseball now. Six autographs per box. Good luck. Levi Kelly rookie signatures. We got Ryan Patterson. We got a numbered of Logan Wyatt. Eight out of ten future stars. Ryan Garcia, twenty three out of twenty five. Matthew Thompson, six out of fifteen. And the last one here is Bat's autograph of Hunter Bishop. Nice. That should be going to the Giants, I believe. And Corey. Sweetness. All right, let's go with uh, these boxes here. Let's go clear the authentic. Ooh, look at that. It's a little mini. Um, Ozzy Albies to 99 from Clearly Authentic. There you go, Atlanta Braves. Sweet. I think it's stuck there. Ozzy Albies, Atlanta Braves going to Brian Zell. There you go, man. All right, let's go with Five Star Trevor Bauer. That's out of 15 for the Cleveland Indians. Cleveland, this is for you. Uh, going to Adam Coverman. And a Williams Astadillo. Minnesota Twins. Going to Travis. Alright, let's go with some Inception 2018. And then we'll end off with 5 star 18 with the autograph baseball. Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Bryant, sorry. Hunter Renfro, Gary Sanchez, Brett Phillips, Billy Hamilton. And Zach Granite for the Minnesota Twins to 230. There you go. Alrighty, guys. We are getting to the finish line. Last box, and then we got a baseball autograph box, and then that's it, guys. Got a purple. 
For the Dodgers, 6 out of 50, Alex Wood. Dodgers Mary Lou again. And we got a Ronald Acuna Jr. And that's a rookie autograph from Five Star Baseball. Very nice for the Braves and Brian Zeller. Nice. I feel like we haven't hit anything out of these five star 2018 boxes until now. There you go. That's a rookie, Ronald Acuna Jr. Very nice. Nice break for the Braves. All right, guys, in the last box. Good luck, everybody. We can play a little quick. Who am I? With this one. I know, Brian. Don't go to sleep now if you're in the football mixer. <laughs> don't go to sleep now. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Let me take out the little paper that says who this is. And let's read about it. All right. Who am I, guys? Who am I? Three-time All-Star. 86, 87, and 89. I'm a 1986 NL Cy Young Award winner. Uh, 1986 NLCS MVP. I pitched a no-hitter on 9-25-1986. I am retired. My jersey number 33 for this team, and I am part of the Hall of Fame for this team. Who am I? Not good in William. Not good in. Yes, you are correct, Amundo. You are correct, Amundo, um, David. Mike Scott. So didn't start off my career with Houston, but ended my career with Houston, and pretty much was in my prime with Houston. Started in 1983 down to 1991. Played. Total of 13 years in the MLB. And uh, as you can see, the team that played for the longest is Houston for nine years. So, had some pretty good years in the middle of his prime uh, where he was an all-star. So, there you go. Probably not the biggest player, but hey, retired his jersey number 33 for the Houston Astros. Part of the Houston Astros Hall of Fame, so that's not too shabby. Um, so, there you go. So that's going to go to the Houston Astros and Rick K. Also, I didn't even show you guys the baseball. One quick second. And it's had 86 NL Cy inscription. It's pretty cool. Alright, so let's see. That's going to go to Houston. Alright, everybody. Now let's give away. Let's give away some hits. So we had some really nice ones here with that nice Acuna Jr. Rookie Auto. Very nice. And some others. But let's give away that Gavin Lux autograph now. Everybody's going to have a shot at this. So if you didn't hit much, unfortunately, you still have a chance to claim a very, very nice big hit. Gavin Lux rookie autograph. And it's a 2 out of 5. Very nice for a Dodgers collection right there. So good luck, everybody. Roll the dice. 1 and a 4. Let's grab the customer names in here. And five times, good luck. Number one gets the Gavin Lux. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Five times, one and a four, five times. Good luck, everybody. Who do we got? Who do we got? Number one, Mary Lou. And this was meant to be. I think Mary Lou only had one spot in this break. And who did Mary Lou have? Had the Los Angeles Dodgers. <laughs> so there you go. This card is actually still going to go to the Dodgers. How crazy is that? 
So there you go, Marilu. Also getting that Gavin Lux red. Very awesome. Appreciate it, guys. Jaspies, Coming last, uh, coming up next, last break of the night is the mixer, football mixer. Appreciate it. 